Okay, here we are on our acclimatization hike day one. Uh, we're at about, I think, 2,400, 2,500 meters. We had an overnight flight last night, um, three hours on the flight, three hours drive to the mountain, and then we got to the hotel. Lucky they were ready for us to check in. So we had a uh, three hour nap, and now we are on our way up Cheggett. Uh, we've passed Elbrus, we've seen it in the background. Um, so yeah, just getting, getting our day. Yeah. One, that done, one. getting our mountain feet. Um, Everyone's doing good, everyone's group is strong. So yeah, let's see where we go. I'll go ahead with these. I'm saying not these ones. The bigger ones. Bigger? Yeah, yeah these are the bigger uh, ones. There'll be more years to go to Spaki. Spaki. No, I mean, we're at the uh, rental place. This is small. It's rental stuff here. I'm renting. I've got to get tampons. Genius, I'm a genius. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, morning, day two. We, yesterday we did an acclimatization hike, just found our feet. It was a long overnight flight uh, journey then to the hotel. So we just took it easy yesterday. Today we're going to go to um, Cheap Arzo, the camp. I'm going to get our stuff settled, get into our double boots and then head off towards the lake and just have another little acclimatization hike and see, see how we go and reach the snow. Okay. That's it for the day. That's it. Okay, we've just finished the climatization hike at uh, Chipa Zoo. This is the hut here. This is where we're staying tonight. Here is this uh, beautiful scenic view. It goes down for miles of death. 
all the way across. So this, just now we went out this way around the back. I'm just going to show you there's Pramud over there just coming down. If you can see him, we were up there all the way around up to a lake at about 3,000, I think 500 or 3,200. Um, we're back now, got our heavy boots on. Whipping these off, it's been a long, rigid, solid boot day. These are gonna come off now, we're gonna grab a bit of food, chill, dinner, and then we go again tomorrow. So that is day two done, there's the view. morning day three here we are cheaper as well um, today we have about a five hour day five hours and maybe another couple of hours depending on how we go we're going up quite high we own boots crampons ice axes heavy down jackets mittens the whole lot to prepare for any potential bad weather there's potentially a thunderstorm lurking in the distance so we just want to be wary of that yesterday was a long day uh, for some of the guys very hot nice weather uh, some of the people went in deep into the snow, so they're drying their uh, their boots out now as we speak for breakfast. It's about half seven now in the morning. And uh, yeah, everything's been going well so far. Group is good. So yeah, let's see how we go today. Right, we're nearly at 4,395, pretty much. Crampons on. Group of putting crampons on behind. It's been a good day so far. I've been walking for about an hour, I think. This is where we're going here. So if you follow that, the ridge line of the rocks up that way, we're going to the top of that. Just making sure everybody's locked in. Good to go. Strong group, strong, strong day. Yeah, that's a cable car station. Can you eat something? Yes. Oh, yes. I know it's everybody. You know, I mean, I know it's everybody. Yeah. 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 We're going a little bit further. There's Pramut. Hello, Pramut. Hey. Mal. We're going around this corner a little bit further. I think we've been going for about what time? Three hours? Yep. Three hours. Everyone's good to go. It's a nice steady incline. A little bit out of breath, but nothing to worry about. Easy day on the mountain, eh, Mal? Great day on the farm. <laughs> Very good. Too much easy. day four today um, we've woken up again at the cheap Azo hut um, clouds come in 
It was a storm overnight, thunderstorm, and now we're just having a rest day today. Not much happening. We're just staying in bed. The guys are slowly getting themselves together. We go from here up to the Leapers huts. Um, again, we're just going to chill, maybe a little bit of walking around in the snow up there, but nothing too major. And then tonight we go to summit night. So yesterday was the day where we just uh, acclimatized up to about 4,000. We just went with uh, crampons, double boots, sun was up, a lovely day, great weather for it. And then uh, did some self arresting, did some ice axe stuff. And uh, now we're back, came back to the tent last night, or the hut, and we're here for half the morning, and then we're gonna go up to Leopard, so. And then tonight we go to bed, wake up early, and we go to the top. On a spot? Mm -hmm. Here? Yeah. Where are you putting it? Hello. Well, I still have my rest day. Here's the huts. Just reached Leopris. Team's in there. Just to find their bunk beds. And this is the camp. And then we're going up that way tomorrow morning. So yeah, nice and cozy. It's overcast, but it's not cold. Uh, these are the toilets, yeah. everything in there. This is it for now, for today, and then tomorrow we go to the top. Obviously we're all sleeping in really confined quarters, so I want you guys to be really mindful about leaving the stuff on the floor. Um, try, you guys have little shelves, to try and put all your stuff on the shelf. So try and keep the whole thing clear. Remember what I said to you guys about no big boot. Bing! Everyone's going to wake up. The first thing that you're going to do, base layer, pants, top, outer shell. So you're going to put the first three layers on. You don't need to put the harness or any of that stuff on, but you're putting on the most of your clothes. You don't need to put double boots on at that point. You can put booties, but literally at three... Okay, summit night, it's about uh, 10 to 3, 2.50 a.m. Uh, we're going for breakfast now in there, way up the top of the summit. You can see some headlights up there just beyond the big light. Uh, some people are heading up already, um, which means we've got good visibility. Weather's not too cold right now. So yeah, I'm going to keep this brief. We're uh, on the way to the top. Right, two hours in, first rest of the day. It was a long, steep trek. That's the summit. We're going that way, around, and then up. So yeah, feeling good. Cold, barely hanging on. Yeah, I don't know what altitude we're at, but we're all doing good.
Speed, yo. Hi. Do I see myself in your feet? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Give us a wave. For yeah. mood. Mm, yes, bro. So Hi, Mom. <laughs> Heavy jackets off, sunglasses on. Last couple of minutes, harness is buckled up. We go that way. Time is about 7.45, 8 a.m. What altitude are we at? What, what altitude are we at? Uh, We're pretty high. Five two, five four. Five, five, four. four. Yeah, yeah. We're at five four, five thousand four hundred meters. Big push around the ridge, and then another push to the summit. Too much easy. See you at the top. Sam, give us a wave. Ma, give us a wave. And hugs over here. Caroline. Uh, okay. All right, rest stop is at number three. We're high, we're as high as the uh, east summit, almost, over there. We're having snacks. Just refueling. We've just spent about an hour and a half, maybe, on a fixed rope um, on this line here. All the way down to where the breakfast was. Down there, on the summit, somewhere around the corner. So we're all hanging in there, we're all doing good. Stocking up. There's the east summit. I don't care about We're going up and around the corner. Team is doing good. I think. Yeah, not long to go. Maybe another hour. Time right now is 9.30. And we're still going. So yeah, here we go. Hopefully next video is from the top. Alright, what are we? 15 minutes from the top. Backpacks, nice axes off, poles. We're what's that five? Six four zero when we get up there. So we're not far now. I'm taking Europe off the list. That's the summit. We're 
done, Angela. Yes, please. Good it's okay. Caroline Leon finishing this Volcanic Seven Summit. Charlotte and Alvarez. Woo! One day's out. Let's go. Keep going, Mal. We're here for you, bud. Hee hee! Oh, oh. 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 Well done, bud. Well done, champ. <laughs> Did it and it's bloody cold. Keith. Final day, we leave the camp now. We're leaving the Leopress huts. As you can see, we've got our bags here. The gang are just packing up. We're waiting for the snowcat to come. Cable car is over there. But this is the last look at the, uh, the west and the east summit. We did, um, we did a huge day to yesterday. Everyone got to the top. We had a, a very successful summit. Uh, great job by Caroline Summit Expeditions. Thank you to those guys. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's a great little mountain to go for. A few technical spots. You got to know how to kind of manage or fix rope. Very steep either side, but nothing to, to really worry about. Um, it was cold. Not so windy, not so stormy. Just cold. Just a nothing a heavy down jacket and some boots wouldn't have fixed which is what we all had. We were all set, ready to go. Uh, Elber's tour has hooked us up with that one. We rented all the stuff we needed at the base of the mountain. So that was totally fine. Uh, the down jacket was like getting into an absolute like Eskimo igloo or a tent or a little hut. It was perfect. So yeah, there's a guy making his way up now. And I uh, yeah, leave you with that.